guys, it's Argina from SweetNookas.com and today I'm going to be talking about how to make a clickable brochure in your sidebar if you have a WordPress website. I don't know about the free websites but um, I'm going to show you how to do this. So when you click on it, it goes into your brochure so they can actually see it. I do have a training when you opt into my email list that is about um, how to create a website to promote your Avon business and we go into like the basics of how to create an actual website in order to promote your Avon business. It could be for either selling or recruiting. So I'll be launching that. It comes with not only the ebook but a video and a bonus video on how to um, forge your Avon domain name. So keep a lookout for that. That's going to be coming out very soon. I'm finishing up with it now and that will be free to you if you opt into my email list. So once you do have your WordPress site up, this is just like a more advanced thing that you can do in order to um, get more conversions when people visit your website and they see that and they can click on it and just go straight to your shop. So let me show you how to add that to your sidebar. I've been <laughs> playing around with it. I was doing all kind of HTML code. I was very lost, but then I came across a video that finally showed me how to do it and it saved you some time. I just wanted to show you how to do it because it took me probably about an hour this morning trying to figure this out and um, I just want to share it with you so let's see so first thing you need to do is copy this well copy any brochure image you see so let's say I wanted this one um, I will go to save image as and this already saved in my uh, folder as you can see so save it into your into any folder and we're just going to um, go to media and WordPress let me move this over so over here in, in WordPress we're going to go to media add new okay and we're going to select files and then after that you find the brochure and you click open I'm gonna just do it just for you know for um, demonstration purposes and after that it's in your media so you go back to media and you can copy this now well actually it's in the media you don't need to copy it right now go to post don't worry you don't have to actually make a post I'm going to show you how to do this and then you go to add new okay don't worry about putting a title or anything we're just trying to get this media in here so add media select the brochure insert into post let me move this over so insert into post over here okay so now you have that so now you want to view I'm sorry this should be on visual um, so make sure it's on visual when you start I just had it on text anyway so you have the brochure so what you want to do is if you were just linking to anything else regularly you would go to insert link check, uh, click on the link thing erase this because you don't need that anymore now what you want to do is go to your Avon rep page and copy your brochure up here so right here is where you want to copy it so copy that and then we're going to paste that URL in here so it goes straight to your brochure and if you want to get into more detail so say I went to my home page youravon.com slash org and say I went to my home page and I didn't know how to really do that I'm just going to make it as simple as possible for you because I know um, it can be hard so in order to get them to go straight to your brochure if you don't want them to just come to your home page go to shop my brochure okay so click on that link on your own page and make sure your ID is right here up here you see where I'm highlighting that so go like this and then control C will just copy the whole thing or you can just highlight it and copy it then go to it. go back to your post control V will paste that in there for you title it doesn't matter just put shop A1 something like that um, you can open in a new tab if you want or you can just have them go straight to store it doesn't matter so now that's already in set so you have that back in your WordPress back office you don't even have to save the post so we're going to go to text 
we're going to get this HTML right here. So copy this whole thing. And then we're going to go over to widgets, appearance, widgets. Leave this page, sure. It don't matter. We don't need to save it. Okay. And then you can put your title up here. And then you can copy that code in there and save it. Okay. So then when you go back to your site, let me refresh the site. You'll have a clickable A1 brochure. And it opens up. Okay. So let me know if you like this video. If not, let me let me know what I can do better if I'm going too fast or if you have anything wrong, just let me know because I know this can be crazy when you're trying to do all this crazy HTML stuff. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video and you have a great week and see ya. Bye. <laughs>